Hello everybody, back. Um, as you can see. Alright. We got the wicks and the uh, containers ready to have wax poured in them. So the next thing I got to do is get the wax uh, going. We got this right here. I use a Presto pot. And what I do is put water in, in the Presto pot. Like a double boiler. And that's how I that's how I um do my wax. So I'll be back with you shortly. Hope everybody's doing all right. What I'm doing at the moment is um, a mug that was special ordered, and um, my hot, I take it up to 185, and from there uh, let it cool down to 140, and I'll show you. And the thing about wax is you gotta stir. Just stir, stir, stir. And see, you more or less set your temperature over here, what you want. Oh, and that'll let you know pretty much it'll start going off. But also, the most thing is the thermometer. See, I have a thermometer here. And when it gets to 185, I'll be cooling it back down. Okay. Be back. Okay, so I've got it cooling down now. It reached the, the temperature I wanted it to, so... Now I gotta let it cool back down to 140. All right, so I <clears throat> I just added the lavender, which is what she wanted me to put in her candle. And of course, it's uh, again I get my lavender with, from the best place there is, and it's Provence. It's in the highlands of Provence, France. Okay. So we're going to very carefully pour that in the container. I think that I have enough here to make a small lavender too, so I'll be right back. All right, people. <clears throat> here we go with our first hurricane, and it's sweet apple. And that it is. Put a little dab more. And I have enough for a small containers, so be right back. Maybe two containers, two small containers. Be right back. Mm. 
another sweet apple. Uh oh. I scooted the popsicle sticks a little bit. I think we got enough for one more, actually. Be right back. All right, let's see if we can get one more out of the pot. This is helping me tremendously. Yep. You don't have to worry if you spill a little bit. You can always clean up, clean up afterward. All right, so that takes care of the sweet apple. And you can't imagine the smell going on in this house right now. It smells awesome. Looks like apple cider, don't it? <laughs> yeah. There's the first one we did, and then Sherry's is getting there. Yeah, it's all coming out really nice. All right, I'll be back. Ready to start on that next hurricane. All right. Now I'm going to be pouring peppermint. And of course I have the best peppermint. I'm going to have to move something here for a second. Just a little bit in my way. Maybe one more. All right. I don't know if that would be 16 ounces or not, but we're going to try it. Almost. So what I'm probably going to have to do is cook up a little bit more just for that one jar. And that shouldn't take long because if the less wax you have in there, the faster it heats up. Do you see how everything else is coming along? Very nicely. And two, like, um, a lot of people pour wax down their uh, wicks. I don't do that. I have a heat gun, a hot gun. So when I get done, 
Because sometimes I, I like to use glitter on top of my candles. Especially around the Christian holidays. And glitter does not harm your wick. I can tell you that right now. Uh, glitter runs from heat. So therefore it's going to move away from the wick when it's burning. And you don't have to worry about anything toxic going in the air. So just thought I'd give you all a few little facts there. So far everything's going smooth. Thank goodness. So I'm going to get a little bit to finish off that one right there. And that would be our peppermint. Okay. All right, I'll be back. All right, let's see if we've got it. I believe we do. Perfect. You know, I think I'm going to invest in another pot because it would really cut down my time on this. Where's my napkin? Oh, there it is. I could have one cooling while I'm, you know, putting the other together. I'm going to get this red out. Cause, oh, and I wanted to tell you all, I guess you're wondering where my colorant's coming from. I am, I am a wax melt person. I make what... Uh, those two and I keep my wax melts for color my little and that way I don't have to buy colorants it works out real well as you can see I am definitely a wax melt person <laughs> I love for a house smelling good, yeah. And I repurpose what you know, what I don't use. And also, I wanted to tell you, um, my wax is a hundred percent soy. It's all plant based. You know, I'm a natural person, and. The more natural, the better for me. The more generic. So, I thought I'd let you in on that too. And believe it or not, it's, it's the best. I wouldn't change. I wouldn't change a thing. Alright, so, I'm going to get started on a, another hurricane. And I'll be back with you. Alright. Alright. The Midnight Orchid is ready. I think we've got just enough for a small one. 
see if I can do this one handed. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Oh, oh dear. Mm. All right. Um, get another hurricane ready. All right. <clears throat> This round is going to be vanilla. Good old natural sweet vanilla. Let's see. I'm going to have to fix just a tad more. And oh my, it smells so good. See, I'm liking, liking just a little bit of that being full. Right there. So I'm going to put a little more on right quick. Be back in a minute. Alright guys. Got some uh, Midnight Orchid here. Uh, the one I just fixed is lilac. So, I'm going to put just a tad of this on top of this one. Alright. I have three little ones left to do. All right, so I'll be back to finish this up. 